And welcome back, folks. Lisa sent me this picture on her way to work. A little bit of fog on the Route 19 corridor. You can see the sun trying to poke out through there. It did, but then we had the hazy skies from the smoke that has filled our airwaves. It is 68 degrees in Marlington, 72 in Lewisburg, 70 in Beckley, 72 in Pipestem. Average high about 73 degrees, so we are just a tick below that at this hour. We have a couple of high clouds and, of course, the smoke, which is very difficult difficult to pick up on the infrared satellite and the radar showing absolutely nothing going on. We do have a cold front that is moving south near Chicago right now with a band of showers. As it moves south and east, we will wake up to a couple of drips and drabs in the morning for your commute. Now, the more steady rain will be south of Tazewell County into parts of North Carolina and western parts of Tennessee. We will just be glazed or grazed by this cold front as it moves to the south. So a couple of showers very early in the morning. No big deal with this front. It is 71 in Buffalo, 68 in Plattsburgh. We are in the 60s behind the front. Temperatures out ahead of it in the 70s. So it's going to knock our temperature down a couple of degrees and we'll especially notice it during the overnight period. So here's tomorrow at 10 a.m. the cold front pushing through. Hey, a nice refreshing breeze tomorrow afternoon after the sun comes out after the showers exit in the morning. Yeah, it's going to be a delightful day and also some of that smoke that we see across our region is actually going to be shifted off towards the east. So we should have more of a deep blue sky on Wednesday. And then once we get into Thursday, what's going to happen is the wind's going to shift a little bit more to the north coming closer or the coming closer from the source region in Quebec. So I think the smoke will fill back in across our region on Thursday and it could be thick in spots especially to the east along I-81. So we'll keep you abreast of any air quality issues that there would be as we go forward. Now this weekend is looking dynamite. Gorgeous, beautiful temperatures warming up if you want to go out in the river. It's this cold front that we're going to watch Sunday. It's going to push some showers in, but not until about 7, 8 o'clock in the evening. That means about 95% of your weekend is going to be dry and our temperatures warming up through the 70s. This cold front will be with us though through the early part of the week. So seven day forecast then, unlike the 70s we have today, we'll be in the upper 60s with a couple of showers early on Wednesday. Thursday's high 69 with some smoky skies. Just a 30% chance of a sprinkle on Friday. Check out Saturday and Sunday. We are well into the 70s. Late evening shower, about a 70% risk of that on Sunday. A couple of showers on Monday. Seasonable at behind that cold front on Tuesday with highs in the lower 70s. We are back with more news right after this break.